Hey, which, welcome back to my channel, or like, hi or something if you're new here. Hi. Um, so you've already seen the title of this video. Can we just take a moment to like, <laughs> celebrate for a second? Like, holy shit. I never thought this would happen in a million years, especially like only after a year of moving home. It is not without struggle. It is not without like a heavy sacrifice. And I cannot believe that all of my efforts are finally starting to pay off. However, I do just want to take a minute to um, ask for your support on Patreon. Um, I make art and um, foraging content and medicinal plant content. And um, my Patreon is mostly focused on my art, but it is the absolute best way to support me. If I can get like $500 in support per month on Patreon, I will promise to make weekly videos. It will be a guaranteed thing, like guaranteed weekly videos. I have already planned a 33 video series, so that will be coming soon. Let's get into the fun stuff. Oh my goodness, I just freaking bought a house. Um, not without help, obviously. Um, someone who owns a small business like myself, and I'm an independent artist, my credit is not the greatest. So I had to get help, obviously, to fund this house. But I am paying for it. It's a rent-to-own type situation. My parents did help me out. And get this, I am very privileged to have that support system. I acknowledge that and I'm grateful for it. I just want to make that very clear. Um, however, I don't want anyone to say that I was given this house as a gift. It is not a gift. I'm paying for it. So, okay. To just to get that out of the way, let's talk about this house. Because, oh my goodness, it is so interesting. First of all, it is 121 years old. It was built in 1900 exactly. So that's kind of cool. Um, as you saw, as you will see in the tour, um, there's a lot of really interesting fixes. It's been a rental property for 21 years and the owner didn't really believe in upkeep. So I get to come in and pay for all of the fixing. <laughs> Please support me on Patreon. Uh, I will absolutely be taking you guys on the journey with me through like the home renovation process, um, my like design process, my cleaning process, my shopping process, all of that kind of stuff. You know me, I love a good bargain. I know where to find all the great deals. I know how to save money on repairs and home improvements and all of that stuff. So I will definitely be sharing that information with y'all. Um, so... The first thing I noticed upon going to the inspection, there is a clue board game sitting on the counter. That is the only object left behind by the previous owner, which is very suspicious. Why a clue board game specifically? That makes me think that somewhere in that box, in that board game, there's a clue to something hidden in that house. <laughs> It's so old, who the hell knows what is going on in the house? And we're gonna find out. So we're gonna Nancy Drew, we're gonna go through that Clue board game. I might even make a whole separate video on that. Let me know if you want a Clue board game treasure hunt video from my new house. <laughs> because there has to be something. I don't know, I'm just convinced. I will definitely be giving you a more in-depth look at this house in later cleaning videos and like the design videos and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for more. This is just kind of like a short, like five minute brief tour of this house. I don't show you any of like the crazy weird stuff. I will definitely do that in the next video. Um. Here we are y'all. This is the front entryway. I have to be quiet because the inspector is here. So this opens up into the kitchen. There's no appliances in here currently. Um. I mean, obviously it needs updating, but this house was hella cheap, y'all. Like, <laughs> here it is. The main living area. There's this little nook where the stairs are. And back here, probably good for like a TV or something. Back this way is the first bedroom. This is probably gonna be my office though. Either that or a guest room, but it does connect to a bathroom. This is the smaller of the two bathrooms in here. 
um, definitely needs some work. This tub is pretty nice though, it's pretty big. And this closet was like cheap linoleum, so that's gonna have to change too. <laughs> So there's three bedrooms upstairs. This is the upstairs bathroom. It's so much bigger. Um, this was not here last time. So I don't know what the story is with that. But it does have like built-in closets. And like more built-in storage and stuff oh sorry if i'm breathing heavy it's like cold today and i can't catch my breath um cute that's creepy So that's one of the bedrooms. I just realized that um, the bedrooms upstairs don't have doors. There are no doors in here. I <laughs> did not realize that before. The bathroom has a door, that's good. Yeah, no doors. <laughs> But here is the creepy uh, crawl space. I have not been up there yet. Um, I probably won't go up there until I've actually moved in. Well, I can't not take you into the basement. Um, is there a light switch? No. No, the light switches are gone. I can't remember there being a light last time. the bowels of the basement, no big deal. That is my oil tank. Don't know what that is. It says whole milk, but it doesn't look like it. The wall is breaking right there. And this whole thing needs to be replaced too. I remember that. house will be mine on Friday like in two days so uh, the first thing we have to fix is the fact that two out of the three exterior doors do not lock at all they don't lock they don't lock so anyone could just walk right into the house so Friday that's getting fixed oh my god and speaking of the doors not locking so in the upstairs bathroom I noticed that there is like some staining around the window trim um, and it looks like like smoking stains, like tar buildup from people smoking inside. You know how it happens when it gets like orange speckles and stuff. My friend was like, what if it's not tobacco? What if it's like meth? I was like, oh my God, what if my house is a meth house? And like, since it doesn't lock, people can just like walk up in there and do whatever they want. So who knows what people are doing or hiding in that house. It has been off, it has been like on the market for almost 200 days. So... It's been vacant and unlocked for almost a year. That's concerning to me. Another thing that I did notice in the inspection is that it is infested with spiders. And thank God that I'm on Arachne's good side because spiders don't really freak me out that much. <laughs> and to top off all of the expenses and all that fun stuff, I had to spend $1,100 on termite damage. Um, 
we don't even know if there's like an active termite problem. They were just like, we see signs of termite damage, so we have to do this termite treatment that's $1,100. So please, please help me out on Patreon. It's only $3 a month, and like, it helps me out so much more than you know. And like I said, at $500 per month on Patreon, I will guarantee weekly videos, and they will be high quality videos about like plants, and magical uses and medicinal uses and all that stuff. I did just, or I am about to get certified in medicinal plants through Cornell University. I'm on my last course, so it's only like a week away that I'll have my certification and then I'll start making all those videos. So please support me, I appreciate you, thank you. I feel so awkward asking for help, but I really need it. Uh, um. Anyway, so that was the brief look through my brand new house. Uh, thank you for being on this journey with me these past few years. It has been freaking crazy. But we're not going to be filming in my sister's bathroom anymore. We'll be filming in a legitimate studio with lighting and decorations. <laughs> oh my god, you're about to have seen the globe of the century with like my YouTube channel and my business because I finally have space to spread out and do the things that I want to do with my business. Oh my god. I'm in talks with a manufacturer in China right now producing plush toys. I'm so freaking excited. It's not a secret. I've been posting about it on Instagram, but I'm just excited and I can't wait to show you the sample when it comes in the mail. And I will be starting a Kickstarter. I don't have too much information about it right now, but in a future video, I'll update you. But until next time, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you. Be safe, be good, be, well, be a little naughty if you want to. Until next time, I'll smell you later.